Hey everyone, in this video we are going to see what is mean by quality of service levels in MQTT. So in my previous video I have discussed about the MQTT message format and what is mean by MQTT protocol itself. So if you are new to the channel, please guys hit the like button and subscribe the channel for more updates. So QoS indicates quality of service between client and server. So QoS is generally a quality of service. So it indicates what type of quality we are using to communicate between the client and server. So there are different values for QoS ranging from 0 up to 2. So it, it can be QoS level 0, QoS level 1 or QoS level 2. So depending on the value it has got a different meaning here. So this hierarchy here shows so for QoS level of network that is TCP IP connection so the client and server uh, puts their best effort for the data transfer so they will be it is basically the TCP IP uh, uh, data transfer here and the next level is QoS level 0 that is at most once delivery so it indicates that at most it will be sending the data once that is client to server so either it can be publisher or the subscriber so there will be a server so this that is called an broker and uh, here is the client so the client can be publisher or it can be the subscriber here so it will be sending the data only once so once it will send it will delete that data and don't bother about whether it is received by the broker or not so that is called as at most once delivery and the next hierarchy level is the QoS level 1 so that is at least once delivery so uh, it will be delivering at least once so it can go up to uh, further also so once it will try so if it is uh, successful then okay otherwise it will go for a second try and QoS level 2 is exactly once delivery so it is the uh, very accurate type of uh, data transfer we can say where it is the combination of QoS level 1 and 0 so uh, it will make sure that in the one shot itself the data should be transferred that is the data should be received by the broker or the client so uh, this indicates the QoS level 2 there so there is a guarantee that the data will be transferred so uh, at both the ends the data will be retained so that if there is uh, a failure in data transfer then at uh, so, so, so many takes uh, so many takes are or so many attempts are made to make the data transfer happen there so that is there is no limit for reattempt in case of exactly once delivery so until we make a one successful attempt we will be facing failures there okay so uh, this is the explanation of the same thing that is QoS level 0 so at most uh, once delivery so that is best ever type of uh, protocol we can say so its possible application is so where we can use this type of QoS level that is 0 the temperature sensors which give data over an internet uh, interval of 5 minutes so we can use this type of uh, uh, protocol that is level 0 where uh, when we are sensing temperature from so suppose this is a room then here is the LM35 temperature sensor you want a temperature from uh, say uh, 7 pm to 8 pm okay and uh, you are getting data for every 5 minutes so you can use this QoS equal to 0 type of communication because if some data and the data is coming over an 5 minute interval so every 5 minutes the data is getting updated so you will be taking the average temperature of that room so between 1 hour how much it has changed so you will take a average of the values which are uh, received with an interval of 5 minutes so uh, if one or two data changes or misses there there will be no uh, significant impact on the output so there we can use the uh, QoS level 0 but it will be reducing of course the overhead of the protocol itself so the data will be uh, fast transferring and the power will be consumed less so it has got advantages and with some disadvantages as well so depending on the application we have to choose the QoS levels there okay now coming to the QoS level 1 
so at least once delivery this is the property so it will try to deliver at least once and here the messages are guaranteed to arrive by the by there may be a duplicate present so here there is a guarantee that the message will be uh, uh, received by the broker but uh, there is a chances of uh, duplicate messages in this protocol so example is a door sensor senses the door state but it is important to publish the door state uh, losslessly so if you are using a door sensor to uh, check whether the door is open or closed but uh, it is uh, actually important to uh, send the data in sequence because the door will be changing its state uh, so for uh, every interval so if, if it is closed then it will be opening or if it is open then it will be uh, closed for some other interval so we need to transfer the data accurately here okay so moving on to the next level that is QoS level 2 so here the delivery will be exactly once so uh, in one shot itself the delivery is make sure that it will be reaching the broker and uh, this is combination of at least once and at most one uh, that is a level and uh, but at same time it incurs with most overhead so in case of QoS level 2 there will be a increased overhead as compared to QoS level 0 and QoS level 1 so here is the diagrammatic view which shows how the QoS level 1, QoS level 0 and QoS level 2 works. So uh, first uh, the QoS level 0 so it contains client and server subscriber. So server is basically broker itself. So I can write it as broker as well. So it is broker basically. So first step will be uh, the publish. So the client will be publishing the uh, message. So it will publish the data with QoS value which is equal to 0 so it uh, it is best effort that is only shoot and forget type of meshes so that will be uh, sent uh, received by the server and it will be published to the subscriber so as you can see for client it is not sending any acknowledgement saying that yes bro I have received your data so due to that reason itself it is uh, having a ambiguity in it so uh, there is no confirmation that the transfer data will be received by the server so the same data will be uh, forwarded to the subscriber by the server or the broker here so that is second step and in third step it will the client will be deleting the whatever the data is present so if it is sensing some temperature then it will be forwarded to the broker and broker will forward it to subscriber and you can see here there is no acknowledgement in any of the communication either from client to server or from server to subscriber so it is just shoot and forget type of communication and if you come to QoS level 1 so here I can, you can see the first step is the store the message so here the message should be stored first and then publish with QoS level 1 so it is published to broker now and then uh, the broker so uh, here this broker will store the message in the third step and in fourth step it will be publishing it to the subscriber so when it is published to subscriber at that time it will send and uh, it will delete the message here so once it is reached the subscriber here so this broker will send that particular message and then in the sixth step it will send an acknowledgement to the client which have sent the data initially saying that yes I have forwarded your data to your particular subscriber and it is reached to him so that is like uh, saying uh, a response so it is giving a response yes I have received your I have sent your uh, data to the subscriber uh, successfully and in the last step that is seventh step the client will be deleting its message so why it is so storing so if it don't receive this acknowledgement so if the broker fails to send this acknowledgement at that time the uh, second step will be followed and again the data will be published to the server or the broker and then again it is storing that value then again it will be publishing it to the subscriber and until the uh, data transfer becomes successful it will be not sending any publish uh, back acknowledgement to the uh, client so whenever the data is successfully transmitted between broker and the subscriber at that time it will be sending an acknowledgement to the client saying that your data is transferred successfully so at the last step it is deleted from the client as well because it has 
got transferred so in the next level that is qos level 2 so it is something where uh, it is similar to the qos level but some changes are there so first step is storing of the data then publish with qos level 2 then again store the message then again publish to the subscriber then again so it will be sending and publish uh, received message then publish relaxation method that is so it will be sending your data has been uh, successfully transferred to the subscriber then at that time it will be sending publish release so publish release means it will be sending the uh, it will be saying to the broker that yes uh, the data has been published now release the communication between us so that is again acknowledged by acknowledged by saying publish that is completion though so this is the completion so when it sends an acknowledgement by saying so it, this is equivalent to acknowledgement for the client here sent by the server so that is publish completion so this is it, this indicates the publication of the data has been completed so at that time it will delete the message here so in this it is ready to uh, make some more tries here so until the data has been published to the subscriber so these are all the models and how they are looking like so i hope you like this video please guys subscribe the channel if you are new and thanks for watching this video Bye for now.